to help you get to know those things done. So I don't know um, the scope of how many buildings you have here in the county and how any upgrades that have been done or you've looked at or anything like that. Um, could use some technical About um, two years ago, Mid-American came in and did an energy audit okay. on four buildings. Mm -hmm. um, since that time, we've replaced part of the lighting in one of the one of the buildings with the T8 lamps. Okay. Um, we're in the process of working on a second one over here. Um, this building, we we've, we've kind of set up a, a long-term replacement project for windows in this building. Okay. So. <clears throat> About the only thing that we really qualified for through the Mid American um, program was the, the electricity because we're mm -hmm. not on Mid American gas. Gas, okay. So we've we've been through the energy audit and and we do have a couple of um, scheduled retrofits that we're working on right now. So. Okay, well, and that's definitely a good thing. Um, and do you have an account manager that's helping you get uh, rebates filed for and all that? Or how do you guys usually work that out? Um, I don't remember the lady's name at Mid-American, but that's who, uh, that's who I've been working with okay. for that part of it. Well, good. And as far as, you know, I guess what we can offer you, um, aside, we, actually our company works very closely with Mid-American. We, um, not myself, but people on our staff do a lot of the energy audits and, and do some of that under a different contract that we have with them. So we you know, really like their programs and promote them because they are definitely beneficial to to you. So, um, you know, aside from that, what this program can offer you if you, if you, you know, have anything that comes up or you want to look at more of a technical overview of your facilities, we can either assist you with getting that more in-depth study done, or if you have a project that you just don't have the money and you want the the, the funding um, through a low interest. Yeah. Low that's, that's always a yeah. problem. Yeah, I know. Well, it's late. I, I can relate. I'm about a so I know how that goes. But um, so, so I don't know. Is there anything that you can think of, um, you know, off the top of your head, just, you know, that's worthy of a uh, of one of the, you know, of a walkthrough just to see, um, you want to give us some of your utility bills to kind of gauge your... Are you a state employee? No, I work for the energy. We just, we actually want to contact the... So you work for a corporation? Or you for, don't work for the state of Iowa? No, I do not. No, we just, we're marketing the program for OEI. Um, years ago, this program used to be known as the Energy Bank, and it was under the DNR. Um, it kind of went away in the 90s when they ran out of money, to be honest, and that's... Um, one of the reasons for the fees is that once OEI was formed by Governor Culver about two years ago, um, they brought back some of the staff from the Energy Bank, um, renamed the program, put it under you know OEI's jurisdiction. Um, but the fees are really intended to just make it a, sell, a sustainable project or program um, because you know your your facility is in really good shape. I've been to some that you know there are some buildings that are just in you know true need of of assistance from not just technical but also even that financial component and uh, yeah, a lot of places have identified cutting that 10% across off the top by things like changing lighting and doing some of that because that can have some really good paybacks and the energy savings can actually pay for some of those projects that you're um, that you're doing anyway so um, so I don't know. If, uh, how does your company make money? I mean how do you make through contract with the state? Yes. So the state re we, we, so you, your revenue comes from state money, grants and things? Or? No, we actually, DAS has a contract with Energy Group for this program. Um, we have a contract with like Mid-American Energy. We also do a lot with, um, across not just Iowa, but uh, the mm -hmm. Midwest. Um, we have two guys on staff that go out and do grain dryer audits, um, and that's for the USDA. Okay. Um, so we, we kind of delve in a lot of different areas. Um, this is just one, one facet of, um, of what we do. We've only been... We won the contract, to be honest, it was August of this year, or yeah, still 2009, so um, so August, so this is a fairly new um, rollout, and we're just trying to make people aware of it, and I can certainly let you know that we're here to be of assistance if we if we can, and um, and it may be something that six months from now, you have some something major <laughs> happen, and you want to, um, you know, you need some further assistance than what you're going to be able to get through Main American and it might be the time that we you know, need to revisit. So I think we we could wait on it 
for now. Um, I'd like to I do too. Okay. I mean, just because we've gone done through a lot. That, yeah. I mean, we we are all kind of going down the path that you're. Well, that's and that's all good. And we've also indicated. started talking about our boiler replacement in the spring of 2010. Okay. So. We get past that and get past these other projects we've, we've already started, then mm -hmm. maybe we could look at it then and just kind of review what we're doing. Where you are, what we oh, need to do. Definitely. Well, we just built a new, well, it's just about completed a conservation center. Okay. It's kind of an office and a small education center. And it, it's pretty, we tried to make it a very green project. Mm -hmm. and we've got some state funding. Good. Uh, and we, like we have geothermal. And, yeah. and, uh, We've got radiant floor heat. Um, nice. So, you know, we tried to, the windows and the doors and insulation. And, you know, we tried to make that uh, not state of the art, but fairly energy conscious conservation. Well, that that's you good. Know, young kids that, you know, we debated whether spending the money, upfront money on geothermal to, uh, we just had to. Uh, well, I think with new construction, that's really the way that most most schools yeah. are, are definitely yeah. doing that. And Courthouses as well. Yeah. No, I mentioned Fayette County did an analysis, and I don't know if they're going to go forward with it or not. But no, actually, it was West Union. I'm sorry. Um, but nevertheless, we're here to help if we can be of assistance. And um, you know, if you have any questions or anything that comes up over the course of the, you know, as you get going on the boiler project and um, you want any assistance from somebody that, like I said, we're unbiased and you aren't selling anything, we can help you if you, um, you know, want to figure out who you might, you maybe you've got people that you're comfortable with working with, um, but if not and you want us to try to help you coordinate those efforts, you let me know. And Thank you very much. So yeah, so yeah. I will um, just leave leave a card with contact info if anybody has any questions or anything comes up. And do you have yeah. some of these? I actually have take those to look that over again. Okay. This is just, um, and they actually, as of yesterday, have all of the current yeah. 2010 forms are on the American's website now. Um, but that's just kind of the, the overview. Um, here's on the lighting portion. The, the lighting didn't change um, from last year. The, the major change that I've noticed is that business check being Increase from twenty-five thousand to fifty thousand square feet because that's actually that's a big deal. There are lots of facilities that can benefit from that three times the rebate. Um, it's all you do like. All right, also. Thank you. And, uh, wish you guys a happy New Year. You too. Thank and you. Thanks for your time. Okay. Off to the hospital. <laughs> they just done a major. They did a ma yeah major project. Well, I guess I didn't know that. I, I wasn't here when we had the. We also did the energy bank when it was around and apparently Warren Hospital was enrolled in the program right. back then and so I just it's, it's very nice. It's a nice oh. uh, that's good. About a ten million dollar upgrade. Yeah, it's it is very nice. It's been good for the community to have so thank you. Alright, you guys thank have you. a happy new year. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> we will Recess till the engineer arrives. Uh, I hope he is.